Hello, in this video we're going to discuss an integration technique uh, called integration by parts. Um, this is a, a type of um, integration that essentially undoes the product rule. Um, so the way we're going to start this is we're going to um, show you where this comes from and then I will practice using it. Um, the formula that we're going to write down is the following. So you're going to choose a portion of uh, the integral that's u, the portion that's dv, and then follow this formula to, to um, uh, figure out what it is, uh, how to evaluate that integral. Um, as a side note, if you take a derivative and use the product rule, you get this, u dv plus v du. And then if you wish to undo that derivative by integration, You'd integrate both sides, and the integral and the derivative would be undone uh, via the fundamental thermic calculus. So you get uv equals u dv plus the integral of v du. And then um, you could simply um, uh, subtract v du from both sides, the integral of v du. And then you have integral of u dv equals uv minus integral of v du. So that is the origin of the formula. It's very simple. It's exactly from the, the, the product rule. <clears throat> uh, let's start with a, just a, a simple example. Um, let's do uh, 3x times e to the 2x. When you choose u and v, you always want to make u something that, uh, if possible, something that would differentiate with the power rule. It's going to be way easier that way if you have something that differentiates down in power. Uh, the dv is going to be the part that integrates in kind of a circular fashion where you in, keep getting uh, the same type of function every time you integrate. Um, and I do need du, which is 3 dx. v is e to the 2x over 2. So as we begin this process, you'll see the integral of this uh, is uv. So that's going to be 3x e to the 2x over 2 <clears throat> minus the integral of v du. So that's going to be 3 over 2 e to the 2x and dx. And then uh, this first term is just going to get recopied. And then um, the integral of e to the 2x is e to the 2x over 2. So this is going to be e to the 2x, 3e to the 2x over 4, and plus c. So that is how you uh, integrate by parts. Notice why the, the, this integral became doable the second time because there was not a second x term anymore. There was an x there no longer anymore um, because the u differentiated down to a number. That was our kind of our key. Uh, if that doesn't happen, you may have to utilize this process iteratively and do it over and over. Uh, I'll show you an example of that. x squared cosine x dx. Um, again, we're going to make u x squared dv is cosine. du is 2x. v, the antiderivative of cosine is negative sine. Sorry, positive sine. Positive sine. Uh, so... This is going to be uv, which is x squared sine, uh, minus the integral of v du, uh, 2x, that was 2x dx times sine, so 2x sine x dx. Again, now we don't, we've got an x and a sine, uh, so we've got to do this again. So we're going to say now u is 2x. dv is sine, du is 2dx, and v 
is now it's negative cosine. Uh, so now we're going to have x squared and sine is going to remain the same. Minus uv, so it's negative 2x cosine, uh, minus the, the integral of v du, so that's going to be minus 2 cosine dx. Two minuses make it plus 2x cosine x. Minus, minus, minus gives me three minuses, so, so, so it's a minus to the integral of cosine of sine. Let's see. Uh, so this is uh, a process that gets you out of a bind, but also it can be very tedious and, and grueling if there's of any sort of complicated um, uh, situation. So what I want to do is I want to show you a method uh, that will... Um, speed this up. Um, and I'll actually do this same problem again, and then we'll do another one uh, that's um, additionally. x squared cosine x dx. Cool. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to um, make uh, a table. Uh, you're going to take this guy and this guy, and I'm just going to come over here on the side We're going to put x squared right here and cosine right here. And for x squared, we're going to take all the derivatives. 2x, 2, 0. And then for cosine, we're going to take all the integrals. Uh, integral of cosine is sine. Integral of sine is negative cosine. Integral of negative cosine is negative sine. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to do... Um, uh, plus, minus, plus, minus, and we're going to combine terms like this. Like that. And if you continue, you'd have a zero there. And so the answer is going to be uh, plus x squared sine. And then minus... 2x times minus cosine, so that's plus 2x cosine. And then plus 2 times the negative sine, so negative 2 sine plus c. And now you can see that it matches. Uh, x squared sine came first, and then 2x cosine was next, and then minus 2 sine came next. So um, this method is great when you have uh, a u that doesn't differentiate down fast, one that is complicated and has a lot of terms. So I want to do one more example of this, uh, and then we'll move forward. Okay. Okay. What I've written down is a horrific problem to do without tabular integration, without using the table. Um, you, it, it's feasible. U it could be this, dv is that, and uh, you know you just keep grinding until you got to the end. But you know trying to do all that without making a mistake, I think, is a lot to ask. So I'm going to write down x to the fourth minus three x squared and e to the two x. We're going to take all the derivatives first at x to the fourth uh, minus 3x squared. So that would be 4x cubed minus 6x, 12x squared minus 6, 24x minus 0, 24, finally 0. For the integrals of e to the 2x, e to the 2x over 2, e to the 2x over 4, e to the 2x over 8, e to the 2x over 16, e to the 2x over 32, and plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. And now we'll do our, our pairings, our groupings. There's one. We make this kind of 
that one, that one, that one. And that's the last one because if I went minus zero times the next integral, it would be zero. So coming down to the to the happy ending, we've got uh, x to the fourth minus three x squared times e to the two x over two, and then minus four x cubed minus six x e to the two x over four, and then plus. 12x squared minus 6, e to the 2x over 8, and then minus uh, 24x, e to the 2x over 8, uh, over 16, sorry, and then plus uh, 24, e to the 2x over 32, plus c. I could reduce some of that. Sorry, there we go. I could reduce some of that, but I'm not going to right now. So, uh, a very a horrific problem algebra-wise that gets simplified a lot by just using this table and utilizing the pattern that you see in integration by parts. Uh, one more style of problem to show you. That is the case where um, both the u and the dv are um, not, neither is a power function. They both are circular in nature. Uh, we'll do e to the 2x times sine x dx. I'll just start out with picking u to be e to the 2x dv is sine x and um, um, du is going to be 2 e to the 2x, and then v is going to be negative co cosine x. Um, so I'm going to just actually make a new line here. I'm going to write down everything I have. Uh, e to the 2x times sine x dx equals u times v. Uh, so that's negative e to the 2x. cosine x, and then minus the integral of v du, so two, a minus uh, 2 e to the x, e to the 2x, cosine x dx. Um, so you might notice that I haven't really made much progress. Um, my integral initially had e to the 2x and sine. Now I still have an e to the 2x and a cosine. That doesn't seem to really make things better. Um, but when things don't seem to be much better, uh, you know, just keep going and maybe something will change. Uh, we're going to do this a second round. I'm going to kind of revamp this and uh, e to the 2x, recopy that, plus 2 times the integral of e to the 2x cosine x dx. Okay, so that's where I am. I'm going to again pick u to be e to the 2x and dv to be cosine x. This time du is 2e to the 2x and v is sine. So as I come back and do my next iteration, I've got e to the 2x sine x dx is negative e to the 2x cosine x plus two times all together, and I'm going to make brackets uv, which is e to the 2x sine x, and then minus the integral of v, uh, uh, v du. So that's going to be integral of sine times 2e to the 2x. Okay, and now you may be thinking, what are, what's going on here? I've, I'm still getting integrals that I still don't know how to solve. And that is true. However, notice we've got the same integral appearing twice now, uh, the integral of e to the 2x sine dx. So what we're going to do is we're going to distribute the two, and then we're going to basically do some, an algebra one move and move all the 
integrals of e to the x sine x over on one side with a coefficient and get an expression for this integral at the end. Um, so I've got um, e to the 2x sine x dx goes negative e to the 2x cosine x plus 2 e to the 2x sine x and then 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 integrals of e to the 2x sine of x dx. Um, so I'm going to actually add these over to the other side just like an Algebra 1 student might want to do. I'm going to do add 4 integrals of e to the 2x sine x dx. And so this makes 5 integrals of e to the 2x sine x dx. That equals negative e to the 2x cosine x plus 2e to the 2x sine x. Oh, uh oh. And uh, so I just added this four, these four integrals over, and now I've got five of them. And finally, I can divide by five. And I get this integral expression as e to the 2x sine x dx equals negative e to the 2x cosine x plus 2e to the 2x sine x all over 5 and all plus c. So now what we've got is an expression for that integral that I started with. Let me get everything on one screen here if I can. Um, so we wanted to know what is this integral equal and we did not explicitly solve. This is an implicit solution where um, we ended up getting an expression for that integral of interest right here, it's right here, and then we got an equal sign and we got what it equaled on the right side. So that is uh, a, a different type of integration by parts.